Let's move on to some more PAL news. Uh, some ridiculous, uh, let's go to some ridiculous reactions uh, to to this. This was pretty pretty ridiculous. Del Walker, this is a guy from Naughty Dog Employee. Uh, he's got a Palestine, Palestine flag in the, right by his name, so you know he's got a good opinion. My God is telling me, Pal World is made nefariously. I have no proof, just dev intuition. No accusations, no proof. But there's some hidden malfeasance here, Watson. I can sense it. And he's got, you know, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Mega Gabe is just so difficult. They're cheating somehow. I can't pinpoint how. Uh, senior arson, Naughty Dog. No, what you know. A BAFTA committee judge respawn or previously in Rock respawn rocksteady games uh so it, they have to be cheating there's no way uh, i think the reality is to just you know use a lot of generic assets uh, maybe took a, a lot of inspiration from other places uh and then uh pal field players fear the worst and not more kind of like random power world news i seem like every journalist i use these goddamn use this goddamn mod for their screenshots, Power World players fear the worst. Having to takes down Pokemon mod video. Power World players are fearing the worst after a Pokemon video of an upcoming Pokemon mod is taken down by Nintendo. Incredibly obvious when you look at both games since the launch. Uh, yeah, they took this down, this video. I guess you can't watch it anymore. But uh, it showed Ash, uh, you know, shooting... Pokemon with a gun, you replaced uh, the guy with Ash. <coughs> and, the, you know, the pals with Pokemons of their respective types. Uh, yeah, no shit that po that uh, Nintendo would take this stuff down. Uh, they sure as hell don't want their family from the image. Uh, they don't want Ash shooting Pikachu with an assault rifle or, you know, a shotgun. Uh, a video out there of them doing that in the game. Uh, that would kind of ruin, like I said, their brand and their image. Kind of like the new Chung Lee mod. Uh, yeah, not good. So, yeah, of course they take that down immediately. But uh, does this mean that they're going to sue Pow World? Well, they did make a statement, not specifically, but inquiring inquiries regarding other companies' games. We received many inquiries regarding another company's game released in January 2024. That's Pow World. Uh, we have not granted any permission for the use of Pokemon and intellectual prosper assets in that game. We intend to investigate and take appropriate measures to address any acts of infringement on intellectual property rights related to Pokemon. We will continue to cherish and nurture each and every Pokemon and its world and work together to bring the world together through Pokemon of the future. This is from the Pokemon Company. Some people have been saying like, oh man, this means they're going after Power World. I mean, this says absolutely nothing. This is just lawyers speak like, hey, we know about the game and we will defend our intellectual property. Like, does it mean that they're investigating? Actually, I'm sure they are, considering how successful it is and considering how close some of the stuff is. They're probably taking a look and saying like, hey, is it really worth uh, suing this company? Do we have a case? But this doesn't actually say anything. You could say this about anything, whether they intend to do it or not. Like, hey, we'll, put you, we'll defend our pro intellectual property, which... Wow, Nintendo has always done and will continue to do in time in memoriam. There was this is a Pokemon former Pokemon legal chief says the power looks like a the usual ripoff nonsense I would see a thousand times a year, and he's surprised it got this far. Again, Power World. Is, this is from Joshua Woolens at a uh, BC Gamer. Power World is Pokemon with guns. I've, like I said, I've seen this like 5,000 times. I'm just getting a little old. Uh, so this is uh, McGowan. As, uh, Don McGowan is the former head of the Pokemon Company's legal team. And he wasn't uh, mincing words. We had chat with Gamefile. Said Power World looks like the usual ripoff nonsense that I would see a thousand times a year when I was the chief legal officer of Pokemon. It's an accusation that Power World developer Pocket Player must have you been used to hearing by now. For its part, the developer said there's no intention of fridging on a podiatric property of the companies itself, which is always game to uh, send out cease and desist letters when it catches a whiff of copyright infringement. Has it many moves to shut down the game? 
has a point, you know, maybe the CEO has a point when it says the game is far more compared to Ark. I mean, obviously, the game itself and the gameplay is not Pokemon. It's really just the designs of Pokemon and the idea that, you know, some people might mistake this for a Pokemon game when, you know, it could clear and that, you know, what kind of damage that could potentially cause to the Pokemon brand. Obviously, nobody, like, would your grandma probably would confuse, you know, pals and Pokemon for the same games and like why is uh why are you shooting this poor little uh pokemon with a shotgun or you know why are you butchering it with an axe uh so you know they could sue on that i think legal mindset had a pretty good video about it where like there's definitely grounds here for pokemon to sue uh but whether it'll be successful it remains to be seen you know it's not like a slam dunk case uh so whether they do or not is kind of up to uh up to nintendo and what they can find uh through their investigations uh, rose mcgowan saying the fact that it's a ripoff i'm calling it a ripoff is uh i don't know i don't agree with mr mcgowan here i think he's uh full of crap and then of course should we have some other things like this was like a reason like 1v1 comparison to this is on release pal but uh the person that did this mentioned admitted that they scaled up the model in their video to uh, to make it look similar. They weren't the exact scale and that they were just doing it because I think it's disgusting how Power World glorifies animal abuse. So some of the people making these uh, asset claims, claims that they stole assets, lying about it. And, uh, and uh, moving on, uh, some other Power World news. Apparently there's also a fake account that even got its like gold badge too so it looks very much like pal world this is uh but it's at pal w c r l e d and this is like a fake thing trying to uh, sell you nfts pal world nfts so with the success of pal world uh out come the scammers to try and sell nfts to you be on the lookout i'm surprised it's that easy to get a gold thing uh, for it. I'm sure X is going to take that down. Uh, I would imagine because it's clearly clearly trying to uh, impersonate. But hopefully people don't get rip off uh, for Power World NFTs. But speaking of uh, other legal action, uh, Nexus Mods refuses to host Power World Pokemon Mod out of fear of legal action from Nintendo. Pow, you know, uh, Nexus Mod one of the big mod ho- hosters, you know, has gotten into controversy over uh, refusing to uh, have certain mods that, like, maybe take out pronouns from the game, uh, like his or him or Spider-Man thing. They banned the guy for taking a, a mod that would took the LGBT flags out of the Spider-Man game. Uh, but, you know, they will not mess with... They'll, they'll fight their community and they'll fight against uh, other things. But Nintendo, they will not mess with... Uh, so he won't be hosting any Pokemon game mods for uh, Pal World because they do not want that smoke from Nintendo. <laughs> we don't think it's worth the risk to allow this content to be in our shared community. At best, we would have it to deal with the headache of DSMA legal threats from Nintendo. At worst, they may seek to take action against us and the uploaders of the mods directly. There are many creative opportunities to explore mods for this game and add the world to gameplay. But do not infringe existing uh, infringe on existing IP. So obviously, really excited to see what Power Mobile Community comes up with. Yeah, you don't want any of it. Oh, this was uh, on IGN from Wesley Yin Poole. Uh, 